Well, whether it's using GPS to guide tractors, microchips to track herds, or even apps to control irrigation, the agricultural industry has never been more technologically advanced. The next big thing could be using solar-powered wells on isolated farms to maintain water quality. Damon Jones takes a look at one such operation, tells you why it might help you save some money. Solar is just another supply of energy. Instead of getting energy from a fossil fuel like diesel or gasoline, um, we're actually getting it from the sun. It's a constant source of power that's being used to run small things like calculators and watches and bigger things like cars and houses. And now it's being slowly integrated into the agricultural industry. And one example is this solar powered well pump, which is perfect for farmers in isolated areas of the state. If you're in remote locations, solar will actually provide that energy source for you. Um, and, and then so we, you get rid of the, the problems with um, fossil fuels. Um, and you have the sun there typically during the daytime hours. Now this system keeps the herd watered while also keeping them out of streams and ponds, which would have a severely negative impact on water quality around the state. It wasn't cost effective to run electricity back here to wells to water livestock. And rather than having livestock getting into streams or surface water and having potential environmental problems associated with that, we were able to utilize new technology uh, using solar panels to power these wells. This three-year-old system needs less than five hours of sunlight a day to keep the water tanks full. And when in operation, works just as well as traditional pumps that use electricity and gas. Reliability, these things work just like any other pump. You never know um, once they get going that you're, you're still pumping five gallons a minute, two gallons a minute, 10 gallons a minute. It's a pump, um, and so it works real well. It's like you said, the change is a little bit different, and instead of having a motor running, you've got um, electrons moving. Speaking of moving, another added bonus for this new technology is its versatility. You know, these systems can be portable. You can set them up on trailers and move from one well to another, so you have a lot of versatility in this type of system, unlike what you would have if you had a you know, a power pole at a well, you're stationary there. The major question facing this type of pump is the initial startup cost. And while this type of system's price is around $8,000, that might actually save you money in the short term and will definitely save you money in the long run, especially in remote areas. Startup cost on solar is a high initial input cost, um, but the typical, these systems, the solar panels are work about 25, 30 years or so. Um, so once you get over the initial cost, um, it will actually work its way out over time. Once you start the system up, there's no additional cost associated with it. Compared to the cost of running electricity here, this was a much more cost effective option and it's going to last for years to come and it's going to provide water to livestock. It's going to provide security and knowing that water is going to be available. If farmers are interested, they can contact a few organizations that do offer potential cost share assistance. They'll actually help cost share some of the startup costs on installing solar for multiple different um, facilities, agricultural products and, um, and programs on a larger scale. So if a farmer wants a larger scale installation, work with USDA Rural Development, they can work through the REAP program to help fund some of that. Reporting from Madison County, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.